so uh, whenever i post a video of the rd350 engine idling uh, usually people tell me that you know the idling is slightly off or one cylinder is working more than the other so um, what i ended up doing is i created a balancing setup that can help balance both the carburetors and using that balancing setup now i'll show you how to uh, balance these carburetors so what you see in front of you are two beautiful bottles uh, for youtube purposes the, these are not alcohol bottles these are water bottles ignore what you see here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use these two bottles to create a carburetor synchronizer so this is something that everybody can do at home so that is the reason why i am showing you how to make one um, so you need a wooden plank where you can keep these bottles so my plan is to hot glue them to this wooden plank then you need some tube and you need some uh, water or some liquid which is which has got some color so i am using the uh, chemical guys wheel cleaner this smells great uh, looks also good but is pathetic in its cleaning ability so i bought this whole bottle and i never could use it properly on the wheels because it absolutely gave no um, good result so we are going to put this to good use so this is going to be our uh, liquid that would help us to balance this you also need a drill machine uh, so the reason why you need a drill machine is to put holes on the um, caps of these bottles and make sure that those holes are clean looking and not ugly so that is the reason why we have a drill machine so let me see if i can find a small enough tripod where i can put you guys on then we'll start the build so let's put some holes in these bottles so make sure the hole is not in the center and it is moved to a side because you need to uh holes now to thread the tube through this hole i wanted to empty that into it otherwise it would fall all over the place when you put these holes these pipe we not go all the way till bottom and it can you can just stick it long enough so that okay let's test our theory and see if it works yeah it does so when i start blowing into this you can see the liquid is filling in the other one maybe we should add a bit of water into it uh, we'll do that and if i suck onto the other one that should also
so that is about level so now what we need to do is we need to glue all this together and for some reason my glue gun is not working so I'll have to get creative here So the contraption that we built earlier is now connected to the carburetor. So these PWK carburetors have a synchronizer valve on the top. But uh, for your normal RD350 I think uh, it would be okay if you connect the tubes to the 2T inlet. So that should also function as a synchronizer uh, valve. So yeah let me show you how the synchronization is done so I'll start the bike okay so as you can see the bike is idling well and the level though there is a level difference but it is not increasing or decreasing I'll show you what happens when I pull one of these synchronizer. You can see it's rising here, right? So if I put this back, it will now stop rising. And if I, let's say, remove the other one, so I'm removing this one, so you can see the level is rising in the other bottle. You can see this level is rising. Okay, so now you can see the idling is perfect but it is idling slightly higher because of uh, I have left the uh, synchronizer valve open so now I'll remove these the synchronizer setup and I have small caps that I can put like this so I'll put it on one of the synchronizer valve and I'll also uh, get the other one. So that is how you perfectly synchronize a pair of carburetors. Um, so it might appear that more smoke is coming from this side but when you move on to this side you will see that changes. Um, so it's also idling perfectly somewhere around 1300-400 and I'll show you how it accelerates. Okay, so that's how you synchronize the bike. So let's, now I and the little mechanic will go for a test ride. So the final test ride result is A-OK. -okay. It sounds awesome now. So this is a must try for all of you guys. It is something that you can build at home and balance the carburetors of a twin cylinder. Um, another very important thing, you cannot balance a single cylinder carburetor. So please do not ask me how to balance it in the comments balancing is only done or synchronization is only done when there are two carburetors okay other than that uh, there is a um, you know tube that you know is also used for synchronizing both the carburetors so if you use that um, tube mostly it would be synchronized but if you want to further synchronize it uh, what I suggested it ne is needed to be done if uh, it has the RX 100 type manifold which doesn't have the uh, 
you know crossover tube connection then uh, the way that i showed you is the only way so i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope you learned something uh, if you guys did enjoy please like share and subscribe thanks for watching